Well, the first coming together of these two great Milanese teams in the Milan derby was on the 10th of January 1910. The Derby della Maddonina. Whatever you like to call it, you know what it's about and what it means. John Champion here, and this, the voice of Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, John. Hello, everyone. Well, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. This could be a real cracker. An interesting fixture in prospect, then. Naturally, hopes and expectations are high. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, any individual performances which are worthy of note? Well, Peter, here's a player who can contribute in so many ways, Theo Hernandez. He's shown himself to be not just an effective crosser, but capable of excellent passing from deep, as well as being a, a pretty decent finisher. Playing for the right team, he probably could get himself into double figures. Dead right. Hernandez's cross. And they've given it back. Did takes a shot. Good hand by the keeper. Ah, uh, caught offside that time. Milan have created a real intensity from the start, and there's no sign of any let up. In a spot of bother. And he's got away. It's one on one. Skillfully hit. Good strong run down the right, now looking though for some support, incisive pass that, now the chance, through it go, drives it in, goal for Inter, and it's Inter who take the lead. A moment that demanded composure, and that's what he produced. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score, I mean, for that defence it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't, brilliant. Milan are already trailing in these early stages. Cuts out what was really a sloppy pass. Mkhitaryan he's looking for options the danger was there he dealt with it well he didn't have any luck with the through ball there encouraged the pass with an intelligent run but the pass just lacked pace forward it goes the space on the flank Having to go it alone for now. And a goal-saving tackle. Promising to start with, but things quickly went awry. That looked a foul, and the referee's given it. And that will see him go into the referee's notebook. Well, this could either be executed with, you know, quite a bit of power behind it. Or... He's gone for goal. Denied by an outstanding save. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well.
Calabria. Loftus cheek. Put in and he's got the ball. He couldn't get it cleanly and it's a foul. He could be in trouble here. Referee's having a word with him, but it's only a warning. I think he needs to be careful though with his tackling. Rinders. Oh, good challenge, and he's got it back. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Turan. Martinez. Over to the right. He wants to get a cross in from here. Chukwesi. Within range. And a shot here. And he scores. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. They now lead by two. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Who can latch onto that? Out towards the byline. Now a chance, and the finish! Just off target. They play it short. He was well positioned, just what they needed. In towards the middle. Milan, they've earned themselves another corner. Mikitarian. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in the... The referee blows his whistle to signal half-time. So, Jim, how are these teams faring, in your opinion? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Inter have a cushion of a 2-0 lead. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. This is what entertainment really should be like. A huge excitement here. I wonder what the final score's going to be. Chukwesi. A chance to counter-attack here. Martinez. It's Martinez! Off target. Inter just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Looking to exploit the space. For Fada. Loftus cheek. Challenge deemed unfair. Foul given. And he'll get the shot away here. He scores. What a start to the second half this is.
Milan kick off. The difference is down to one. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them the confidence and belief to push on and look for an equaliser. Turan's got it. Reinders. And he finds a bit of space here. Go opportunity for a goal. Oh, delightful. But no goal in the end. Oh, he's done ever so well there. That's a wonderful, wonderful save. It's been played short. Going toe to toe with his marker. Lovely ball through. A strong challenge, but one certainly within the laws of the game. Martinez. Quite a shot on him. Good strike, but straight at the keeper. Turan might be slightly consoled by at least hitting the target. Plays the ball out wide. Good strength, just wrestled him off the ball. Stefan de Vries. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. For Fana. Martinez has got it. A foul, a fairly easy decision for the referee. Well, it's a little further out than he'd like, so he might just consider his options with this free kick. So here comes the substitution. It's a fine save. An excellent save by the keeper. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Mikitarian. Oh, fine through ball. No, couldn't quite break through there. Tried to play it through. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Plays it to the touchline. And across. Well, look, John, this is what they have to do. And he'll drive it here. What a let-off that was. Fofana knows only too well how important the chance was. He snatched at it. Mkhitaryan looking for his teammate Turan Mkhitaryan they get it clear Well, they've not been troubled too much at the back, so they can play on the front foot, but losing possession still presents danger.
Mkhitaryan. Up for that one. That won't worry the keeper. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. We're down to seconds now. That's all that remains. Turan's got it. Well, after that scare, surely they'll manage to keep the ball out of the danger zone. Moments like that are not good for the well-being of their fans, I can assure you of that. Polisic. Benesir. Hernandez. Down the middle it goes. Got the timing all wrong and the referee left with an easy decision. Well, they need to hope for a minor miracle now. <laughs> he makes no mistake in drawing them level. It was never in doubt. Well, look at the keeper's reaction. He felt he could have kept it out. That was so tight. So, there's the whistle, the game's finished. No winner here then, the match ends in a draw. But I don't believe either manager will be too unhappy. Excellent football from both sides on show here. So, Jim, the match has been fairly entertaining. Yeah, I think the first thing to say is that the draw was about the right result. It had everything you want in a clash of this nature, the commitment, the passion, great ebb and flow to the game, and I think everybody can go home with a, a little bit of satisfaction from this. And that's the end of tonight's broadcast from me, John Champion, and my co-commentator Jim Beglin. A very good evening to you.